Et bien salut tout le monde, c'est Raitu, bienvenue sur la suite des épisodes sur The Wolf Among Us. C'est assez impressionnant de voir que Vivian était l'original euh, de, la, de la fille au ruban. Et les deux autres étaient juste euh, contrôlés par le ruban qu'ils utilisent. Alors du coup on peut dire que Vivian, si elle avait enlevé le ruban plus tôt, elle aurait pu sauver la vie de Fate et Lily. Euh, on peut dire maintenant que l'RSA est safe parce que il portait aussi l'un de ses rubans. Euh, alors le sorcier est maintenant il est dissipé. Le sort que, qui était dans le dans le ruban qui portait l'RSA il est dissipé. Mais c'est quand même un peu triste. Je sais pas s'il y avait un moyen d'empêcher de, cela d'arriver, mais euh, voilà, je suis assez sceptique en tout cas pour ce choix que j'ai fait à la fin de, de laisser. Ah, c'est fermé Allez, fais pas Voilà. Je vais toujours utiliser la force brute avec euh, Big B, quoi. Elle est assez forte, assez coriace. Assez virile, quoi. Dans ses choix, dans ses actions. De... Dans un peu de tout, quoi. Alors, Shepard Metalworks. Alors, qu'est-ce que... Que on a ici alors on va jeter un petit coup d'œil des paquets so this is where been these. ah oui là c'est le symbole du tordu alors on va ouais c'est cet endroit hein? la lumière c'était allumée alors on dirait que quelqu'un nous attend alors on peut dire que le tordu savait qu'on qu allait venir on dirait qu'il le prépare une surprise J'espère qu'il sera encore pire que la première qu'on a vue euh, dans la première camp. La première rencontre. Et putain, c'est Bloody. Le grand méchant loup. Ouais, c'est moi. Putain. Ah, Bloody Mary. Euh, on sait bien la légende qui sort. Euh, retourner en arrière. Attends. Là, il y a Fate et Nerissa. Il y a Fate aussi. Avec Wolf. On dirait une sorte de. We buy gold and diamond. Là, c'est le. Euh, le Lucky Pound. Là, on était. Je me souviens bien. Là, c'est une photo de Nerissa. Avec euh, Blanche et sa sœur. Je crois que c'est Blanche et sa sœur. Et là, c'est la sœur de Lily. La père... La barmaid. Elle avait peur de toi. Ouais, mais tu où Viens par ici. Attendez, mais on dirait qu'elle le met là vers un piège ou quoi On dirait qu'elle est en train de l'entendre un piège. Je le sens assez mal cette partie en tout cas. Allez, un bon dos travail. On dirait qu'il est, qu est en train de fabriquer des balles. De l'argent. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? Hey, putain. Ouais, frapper une femme, mais euh, c'est pas bien. Mais c'est Bloody Mary quand même. Elle se cache là où il y a du, du sort de verre. Je crois. Parce qu'il sort d'un miroir, alors normalement. 
Euh, tous les verreries euh, doivent se cacher dans l'un d'eux. Putain, il, il est assez rapide. On va sauter ou quoi Allez, c'est parti. Ouais, il est juste ici à ce qui paraît. On va essayer de suivre le son, comme ça c'est plus facile de l'attraper. Ça va être un combat assez passionnant. L'un des ennemis les plus difficiles du jeu. Oh putain. Ah tu peux le faire Big B. Big B. Eh hey, putain, il m'a frappé. Elle est rapide. Elle est vraiment très rapide. Allez, je peux le faire maintenant. Ah, non mais... Les côtiers sont un peu difficiles quoi. On n'a pas assez de, de timing pour réagir. Oh putain. Voilà, c'est comme ça la vraie forme de Blood Mary. Oh putain <rire> Ok maintenant j'ai complètement changé de forme Oh putain, il y en a beaucoup qui choisir <rire> Oh putain Non mais sérieux Non mais il y en a beaucoup, c'est pas... C'est pas... C'est pas équilibré là Qui est la vraie en fait Faut essayer de trouver l'original. Mais... Mais... Ah, je vais crever moi. Je vais crever, je vais crever. Oh putain. Alors là, c'est la forme ultime, quoi. Waouh. Je suis encore dans l'action, les amis. On n'a pas encore trouvé l'original. C'est tous euh, des fantômes, peut dire des... Reste combien Wow, il y en a plein Allez, il va faire camion bien ou quoi Allez, vas-y
Les souffles et le thème du loup Oh putain, c'est trop fort ça C'est pas la vraie. C'est bon, on l'a eu C'était la vraie Waouh, c'était pas si long, les amis. C'est c'est incroyable. C'est la première fois qu'on voit Big B se sa forme ultime. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six... I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You sure about that? Yes, I'm quite sure. No, pas vraiment. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are Pourquoi we vouloir ça? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. <laughs> Tout à fait, c'est ironi ironique, quoi. Caution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Bullshit! Ouais. I already talked to Georgie. I know you ordered their deaths. Mr. Porgy is mistaken. No, but it too. I assure you. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers, but you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Et la raison. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth, or do you just want to look like the hero? C'est pour Fableville, pas seulement pour Fableville. C'est pour protéger Fabletown. Un asshole meurt deux de nos hommes. C'est mon job de les mettre en place. Alors pourquoi êtes-vous ici Vous savez qui a meurtri les hommes. Georgie. Il est mort, n'est-ce pas Le point étant que le killer a été dealt avec. Vous avez gagné. You really think I'm that stupid? <laughs> I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Ouais. Elle l'aurait mérité quoi. 
You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Un homme d'affaires, c'est ça Le connard, il a ordonné à Georgie. Il a, il a fait un chantage, soit sa vie, soit il est... Georgie le fesse, soit il mourra. Alors du coup, euh, Georgie n'a pas le choix. I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? What is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> Crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. It's nothing. I'm fine. I guess you've been worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just... Glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes. What are you waiting what do you for? Have to you say for murderer. My you wife killed Lily. She was my wife. Where the fuck do you get off? Faith. You think you have the right you to just do this to people? You're a fucking crook. Yes. You should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Well, the rest can be done. Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but. Considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of as Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Pord who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no that need That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was told I, don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. How about I go ahead and kill you right now? In front of all these people? Do I look like I give a shit? After the rest of your crimes are read through, then you will have an opportunity to defend yourself, but only then. If you insist. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, wow. and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes. Thank you. Now is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. The rest of the charges are more than enough to deserve execution. We all know who you are. We know what you've done. Just give it up already. The Crooked Man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where ground. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on but with it, we promised then. you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the you fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly. 
even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. Ah. I had nothing to do with it. Tell this the fucking truth for once! You know, I can't decolorate that. Like, so... Give me a break. You're so full of shit. Well, I thought we could discuss this like civilized people, but apparently for that isn't going sake. to happen. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. I think you're done talking. What are you afraid of? Why not let an old man say his piece? Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious! I know what you do to people, I've seen it firsthand! What you did to Faith, the way you manipulated her! Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all in You forget in line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Bigby just This is to... important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. 
and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Alors, tout le monde a tourné le dos contre lui. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the... Georgie was working for you! Bigby got a confession A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... History. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him... Let me make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Where are you going with this? Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder, since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. That don't make him a murderer. Doesn't it? What happened with Tweedledum wasn't Snow's fault. If you all want to blame someone, blame me. She had nothing to do with it. Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their ouais, own sont en ordre. Et laissez un peu de dénier ça. Right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean a certain level of privilege should be afforded to, to them. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the... Bigby! Miss White! Just a bomb, il y a un témoignage? I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's moment? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up! You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. 
We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I'm. Nerissa! Knew... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just. He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And this just confirms. Ouais, voilà. <laughs> he made Georgie. Si le it was always him. Coupable. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid. At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough bah, for me. Coupable, je dit. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. I could always rip your arms off first. Would you enjoy that? Well done then. Now for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever, somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. Been I don't get so so we get rid of him. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think This we... is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you answered this yourself. Decide. Look. I'm making the call. Why should you? He is the only officially appointed representative here. Right. Bigby should decide. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. okay. J'espère que je ferai pas le mauvais choix. It's your call. It's no one. Just do what you think is right. Okay. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Not this way. No. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. You know, just between us, I was gonna let you live. But now, you're going to miss me. No, I won't. <laughs> Allez, au revoir. L'enfoiré. Il a essayé de me jeter dans le dans le puits magique. And faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. Voilà, on dirait que c'est par ça que va ça, ça va finir un peu l'histoire. Wow. En tout cas, cette fin, elle est vraiment passionnante de l'épisode 5. Ok les amis, je crois qu'on va s'arrêter sur ce passage et on se trouve pour la fin, euh, le dernière partie je crois du... De l'épisode 5 de The Wolf Among Us. Allez, ciao tout le monde